Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed, your go-to channel for all things military, with a no-nonsense approach and a sprinkle of sarcasm for good measure. Today we're diving into a game changer that put Brazil on the map of military aviation innovation. It's sleek, it's smart, and trust me, you'll want to stick around to find out how the Embraer R99 became a force multiplier in the skies. In this episode, we'll explore the Embraer R-99, an airborne early warning and control AEWNC aircraft that has earned its stripes as the all-seeing eye in the sky. From its sophisticated radar system to its critical role in modern military operations, we're going deep into why this aircraft is so much more than just a pretty face with wings. Let's rewind to the late 1990s. Brazil, already home to Embraer, a rising star in the aerospace industry, was gearing up to enter a club dominated by the likes of the US and Russia, airborne early warning systems. Back then, the concept of a smaller, cost-effective AEWNC platform was revolutionary. The R99 program began as an effort to give Brazil a surveillance and reconnaissance tool that wouldn't break the national bank. The aircraft itself is based on the ERJ-145, a regional jet that Embraer had already perfected. It was like taking a reliable family sedan and turning it into a Formula One car. One of the coolest facts about the R-99 is its radar system, built by Sweden Saab. It's called the Erie, and no, it's not related to the Lord of the Rings' all-seeing Eye of Sauron, but it might as well be. This system allows the R-99 to track hundreds of targets simultaneously over a range of 450 kilometers. From drug smugglers in the Amazon to enemy aircraft in a conflict zone, the R-99 sees it all. Now let's get into what makes the R-99 tick. This isn't just a plane with a radar slapped on top. It's a full-blown command center in the sky. The Erie I radar, housed in that unmistakable dorsal pod, provides 360-degree coverage, making it perfect for monitoring airspace and maritime zones. The aircraft can stay airborne for about six hours, covering vast areas without the need for frequent refueling. The R-99 isn't armed, but that's not its job. Think of it as the quarterback of a football team. It calls the plays, spots the threats, and coordinates the action. Its advanced communication systems link ground forces, ships, and other aircraft, ensuring everyone's on the same page. The R-99 was one of the first platforms to prove that you didn't need a massive Boeing or Airbus-sized airframe to carry out AEWNC missions. Its compact design made it cheaper to operate and more versatile. It's like trading in a gas-guzzling SUV for a sporty hybrid that can still pack a punch. This innovation wasn't just a win for Brazil. It turned heads globally. Countries like Mexico, India, and Greece adopted variants of the R-99 for their own military operations. And let's not forget its impact on civilian missions. Search and rescue, disaster relief, you name it. This little aircraft became the Swiss Army knife of surveillance. The R-99 has been a quiet but critical player in real-world scenarios. During peacekeeping missions and drug interdiction operations, its ability to track low-flying aircraft has been invaluable. For instance, in joint operations over the Amazon, the R-99 has been instrumental in busting drug cartels by identifying aircraft trying to evade detection. While it hasn't faced full-scale warfare, its presence alone can be a deterrent. After all, who wants to be spotted before they even get started? Okay, so we've sung its praises, but let's be real. It's not perfect. The R-99's small size is both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, it's nimble and cost-effective. On the other, it has limitations in range and payload compared to its beefier AEW and C counterparts like the E3 Sentry. Maintenance can also be a pain. The Erie I radar is a piece of engineering brilliance, but it's not exactly plug and play. Add to that the need for specialized training to operate the system, and you've got a logistical headache. There's also the geopolitical angle. 
Brazil has tried to market the R99 internationally, but some countries hesitate to adopt it because they prefer systems with long-standing NATO interoperability. And while the aircraft is relatively affordable, it's still a significant investment for smaller nations. The Embraer R99 is a testament to what's possible when innovation meets necessity. It's not trying to be the biggest or the baddest. It's carving its own niche as a versatile, cost-effective AEWNC solution. Sure, it has its limitations, but for countries looking for a capable and affordable eye in the sky, it's a game changer. And let's not forget what it represents for Brazil. The R99 isn't just an aircraft. It's a symbol of how far the nation has come in aerospace technology. It's like watching the underdog in a sports movie take on the big leagues and win. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the R99, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let's get the conversation rolling in the comments. What do you think about this aircraft? Is it a shining example of innovation? Or does it have too many compromises? I want to hear your thoughts. A big shout out to all of you who stuck around till the end. Your support keeps this channel flying high, pun intended. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and as always, keep unleashing that military knowledge.